Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 9 and 10 of Real Life. So it's going to get started with episode 9 and 3, 2, hold on. In 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, because of what happened last week. I don't think this episode is going to end well specifically for her. I think, like, she's a douche. She'll do fine, but... Rana's friend not so much especially because as of what we talked about last week and you know this is her final year at school and you know people blaming her for this is that and the third and everything I mean who really knows what the hell is gonna happen in this episode or really in these two episodes we're watching today uh -oh. interesting that the episode's titled Revenge. Well, damn! <laughs> no, she's just stressed. I mean, hell, I know I would be stressed, especially if somebody was talking mad shit about me, but... But you can see, it is eating away at her. I feel so bad for her though. Yes. Of course you don't, babe. But if you know, if she was asking Rena, you know. Mm. Oh, you came anyway. It's bad, ain't it? She's not gonna be able to play. Two weeks. Hmm? Exactly. But what? Right, oh. Mm. 
Of course, she's going to blame herself for it. Yeah, doing that is not going to help. But seriously, what is that going to do? Exactly. And of course, Tama is definitely thinking it's her fault, but it's not. It was just an accident. That could have happened to literally anyone. But I don't think he's going to pity you, Rena. <laughs> you know, like some of us girls, we just want to be alone. She just PMS and that's going. She'll speak to you again, babe. Just, it takes time. You were just upset, that's all. Yeah. So hold on, wait, are we considering Rena as another subject though? Okay, no, we're still talking about Adita, okay. That's the question though.
It'd be like that sometimes. Mm. See, I like... I hate the fact that you still only give me like the teensy weensy little bit of, of ish about him. And then still... Ah! <laughs> She at his door. <laughs> okay. Oh, hun. Yeah, you might as well. You're already here. Maybe. I don't know. No, 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 no. She's already here. Oh my god, you're overflowing it! This is supposed to be part... Oh, oh no, it's because of the cups. Okay, because I was about to say, like, um... <laughs> Of course. Yeah. And you didn't do anything to stop it. Of course. See, ain't it funny how this story is very similar to that? Like, mmm.
I mean, in the end, you did what you thought was right, though. Mm. You can't answer that. Hold the fuck up! <laughs> She's dead, isn't she? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, she looked like her. Well, he, he's not apologizing to you, baby, but... It depends. Mm -hmm. Of course, everybody would be scared about that. Mm -hmm. No, she's still here. I get that. Because you don't want her to lash out on you again. You are. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, though.
You would end right there. Oh my god, no, I want to skip this and just go to the next episode. Okay. The fact that Chizuru and Arata are the ones, you know, talking to Tama, I love that. I mean, because it made the most sense for it to be them because they're the only two who are out of the loop and who are wondering why in the world everybody is acting this way. And of course, when you see your friends acting a certain type of way, you're going to wonder some damn way. You're going to be like, okay, we're going to bring y'all together and we're going to, you know, be kind of quote unquote adult ish like this. And we're going to figure out this solution or what we can do to solve it in the best of your abilities, of course. Um, but the fact is that, you know, Tama is saying things and Rena is overhearing it. And especially with uh, Tama saying that she didn't really want to do volleyball in high school. Of course, that's going to surprise the hell out of Rena. But I'm guessing she only did it for Rena and Rena only because of the fact is that they're friends and everything. I get it because some of us have done something like that where one of your friends is into a sport and you want to do it for for them as well but then you secretly hate it and such or you know maybe your parents forced you to do a sport because i know mine did they both forced me to do well no my mom forced me to do basketball was i when i was in like elementary between elementary and middle school and it was the worst thing of my life and then i did basketball again on my choice um like later on in my I think my eighth grade year um didn't stick with it as much because I didn't enjoy it as much as I did like I did volleyball the year prior and loved the shit out of it but like I think oh no I know why I quit basketball um I was too busy with doing um chorus and then because my one of my teachers I had a I didn't have a pro I had I didn't like one of the teachers who um was in one of the coaches for the basketball. She didn't go to my school, but I didn't like her. She had, you know how like when some teachers have like an attitude problem and you, you're you trying to be the nicest that you can be to someone, but sometimes like even the nicest person in the world, myself or anyone else, um, cannot like be, you know, kind of change that adult and be like, oh, hey, not all kids are bad. And so this woman was... Every practice felt like hell. And she was almost like every single week picking at me and picking at me and picking at me. So I, that was one of the other reasons why I quit. But I didn't tell um, my mom or, or anyone. I just, I told my teacher, one of my other teachers who I didn't like, um, that I was like, I'm too busy. I don't have time. So that's it. And plus the fact is, yeah, I, at that time, I didn't have time. I was very busy with like other things in school. Plus the fact is I was doing chorus like full time and everything. And so we almost had like concerts uh, and tests and everything like every few weeks. So I was like, yeah, can't do that and stuff. And so she, <laughs> that teacher got very pissed at me, but I was like, I don't care. I was like, it's my life. I shouldn't have to do anything that I don't want to do. And if I didn't enjoy it as much as I did when I was in middle school, or not in middle school, elementary, going into middle school, who knew that I was going to enjoy it? I was like, Psh, I knew I wasn't because you never know who you're going to officially meet when you're doing a sport or anything. So long story short, don't always do it for your friends because the fact is 50 out of 50, um, do it for yourself. If you do it for yourself and you continue, or even if you have problems, if you want to get out of a certain thing, get out of it. Don't stay in it because you are really going to screw yourself over in the end. And your it could be parents, teachers, or whatever. They're going to be like, oh, why didn't you stop it or do this, this, that, and the third. So if you're never truly fully in it, drop it. That's the thing. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay, episode 10 and 3, 2, wait, hold on, and 3, 2, 1, go. I'm thirsty. Let me get something after I watch Komi san. And people got jealous. Mm -hmm. 
and you didn't end up with friends. And so, kind of in a way, Rena gave you a new light into like someone being your friend. But you know what? In a way, we've we've all either met someone who is very good at a sport, or we're the ones who's very good at the sport, and we have friends or teammates who are you know pissed at you, and it's hard. People get jealous. People get jealous about any little thing. I mean, I I hate to say it, and I've kind of met, like, okay, it's almost like uh, with trolls on YouTube, because that has happened to me, where my mom or my dad or my friends have always told me, well, you know, people on YouTube get jealous of other people, and that's why they always go on YouTube when it's, like, a stream or in a video for comments and saying it's because they're, like, They're not doing what you're doing. You're happy with whatever in the world you're doing. And people are coming in here just to tear you down and be like, and make you feel bad because they feel bad because possibly 50 out of 50, someone made them feel bad and they just want someone to feel the exact same way that they're currently feeling feeling as of right now. But that's not good. Don't do that. But that's the one thing, you know, even in school, people don't want to talk about bullying. Because they're like, oh, it's not important. No, but she knew who you were. Oh. (laughs) She basically wants you to not, you know... Hold back, basically. There you go. Damn, are you okay? And that's what you need to do. But she did, though. (laughs) Yeah, I think if Rena wasn't here, you probably would have transferred.
Yeah, and I get that. Being the new kid, not the greatest feeling. Because one day they won't be there for you. They'll move on just as much as everybody else in the world. But if you really truly care for her, even if you have to move on, you'll still be there for each other. Even if you're busy, you're still there for each other. Because you know, being an adult's fucking hard. Because sometimes you never really always have time for your friends. Well, you're in luck, because she is over here in this current conversation as of right now. Jeez, it Let's just hope this goes out well. Well, we know, but still, there's no harm. Hmm. <laughs> 
So everything's riding on this. Mm, no. I mean, you could go ask the front office. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> well, you know, now I do know where she lives. <laughs> Also, it's crazy the fact is that, okay, all four of the boys are wearing just regular old clothes. Cheezer is the only one wearing her school uniform. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. But they're making it their business. She's in her seven up now. She's like, you know what?
Yeah. You still did it good, no matter what. <laughs> That's what friends are for. You did good this week, you guys. Like, oh, was not expecting it to go down this way. But seriously, they all did good this week. I mean, this was really an episode for Adita, but really Chizuru. Chizuru especially to step up. Like, honey bunny, she stepped the fuck up and just went with it. She was like, you know what, hold up? I'm going to get this done. I'm going to talk some sense to Rena, and I love that. I mean, yes, Arata did some ish too, but Miss Chizuru, like, yes, honey, I'm glad. I'm really, really glad that, you know, also, Rena and Tomo were able to, uh, bleh, I can't speak, <laughs> make up. Like, that's all I really cared about. Even though they didn't win, They'll still be able to play volleyball in the college together, and they'll be together for the rest of their lives, even if they become professional athletes at it as well. So they'll always be together. I'm glad that they were able to both tell each other how they personally felt, especially for um, what's her face, because she really, really, I mean, because of Rena, you know, a lot of things happened, and a lot of things, you know, didn't go out so well. But I mean. This was really good. I mean, didn't make me cry, but you gave me the feels this week. It was like, oh, God. And the fact is that we're very close to the end of this, plus the OVAs. I mean, oh, God. I'm, I'm very a little hesitant, wondering what the fuck is going to happen next week. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, finally, we are finally doing that. I mean, because, yeah, to go back into the previous episode to giving us that little teeny tiny piece of, like, somewhat of information, because I'm guessing that um, his superior, senior, someone who he, the person who he was protecting is dead. I mean, because I still think that it is Chizuru, older, Maybe, I don't know, especially with the fact is that they had that moment in his room and everything, so it could truly be anything. The odds are in my favor, and we ain't gonna know until next week, so. 
but yes, I'm very, very proud of everybody who stepped the fuck up this week. This was a really good, really for both of the two shows that I just watched, like really good on people stepping up and being like, you know what, if I get hired for this, if I really, truly get fired for what the fuck I'm about to do, I'm going to be the, the best damn thing. I'm going to go out in style and ish. And really, they both did. Everybody literally this week with these two shows and almost any other things that I watched this week did step the fuck up and I'm really really happy for that but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of real life if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes 11 and 12 bye guys